But you look out the window. That's uh, We're, You'll be seeing this today. Yeah, and you know, I find myself, uh, I find myself, that's all right, it's the phone, it's complaining because we're shutting it off, if, you pick, if we pick that up. I find myself, uh, instead of looking out the window, I tune in the weather channel to see if it's uh, snowing out. Anyway, that's life in America. Um, it's around Christmas time, so we're going to do a kitty show, sort of. And uh, it's a book that uh, Sylvia Topp and I did in the 70s. And uh, it's a picture book of uh, well-known people as children. I think you'll like it. We certainly did. Don't try to buy it. It's out of print. Okay, we're going to use a revolutionary new over-the-shoulder uh, shot technique, so that's the last you'll see of my face. But you'll see some other nice faces. So here I go. My back will let me all sit down straight. And uh, it's called As They Were. And uh, here are the two uh, collectors, Julie, myself, and Sylvia, my other self, published by Lynx in New York and London. I guess they published it in the middle of the Atlantic, no, 1973. Let me read you the uh, epi epigram by Aldous Huxley at 13. At a gallop, we charge up the shingle. At a gallop, we leap the seawall. With a mad exultation, we tingle, for we, we can overcome all. That's right. I still feel that way. No. This is Bella Apzug. Cute, right? I always, my family had a lot of these cracked photos. It, they're probably taken by, possibly taken by an itinerant uh, photographer. We used to have a pony, too. Bella. What a cute little devil. Um, Spiro, you get him there? Shall I move him over? Oh, yeah. Where, where the mighty have fallen, right? Yeah. Well, the dog looks nice. He, he looks all right. He looks almost normal there. Spiro Agnew, you remember him, the first vice president to resign? Uh, just for stealing, though. Just for stealing. He wasn't a bad guy. Just stealing. Here's Shalom Aleichem at 18. If we have time, we'll go down. This is a list of stepmother's vocabulary. Uh, who cursed him and uh, so colorfully. Uh, let me give you some of them. Let's see. Uh, we'll do A, B, C. Annoyance, ape, apostate. Well, I guess that's Meshumet in, uh, in Yiddish. Apple thief, S, B, bear bottom, bear bottom. Knock it a tuchus, I guess. Barker, beast, chaya, chaya. Like Lachayim, bedbug, vance, beggar, baitler, bellyache, uh, belly button, pupik. What a it's wonderful uh, name. Yeah, well, I'm giving you the English. This has been translated. Mm -hmm. Belly button, pupik, blinker, blockhead, uh, bone in the throat, boar, a boar, that would be grub yan, botcher. Bottomless gullet, brother in sorrow, bully, butcher. C, cake and honey, cap, caucus, cattle, cheat, cheeky, clown, cockroach, convert, cow, crazy, mishugana. Creature, cripple, crybaby, and so on. It's very colorful. You can find the book in the library and read them all. They're wonderful. Here's Muhammad Ali before he was brain damaged. Age 12. Kind of cute. Uh, that was, uh, you know, that's the way blacks get out of the ghetto. They uh, play basketball or become brain damaged. Things are a little different now, are they? Steve Allen, cute. See, he still had the same smile. Jack Anderson, remember him? He was a he was a um, political columnist. 
His, his family sent us dozens of photographs. They were thrilled to be in the book. Why not? Here's a retouch photo of um, Louis Armstrong when he was in the orphan asylum. Top row third from the left. Let's see. Top row third from the left. This is Louis here. Oh, there he is. Looks a little... Um, he's the colored waifs home in New Orleans. Looks a little tough there, but you know... Uh, they discovered that you couldn't really tell personality from still shots because it's just like one slice. You can tell much better from a movie, movie film, judge personality. Uh, Fred Astaire with a sister. This is turn of the century. Well, it's this would have been 1909. It's a beautiful picture. Here's Charles Atlas. This is also beginning of the century. Remember him? Now he's a man that you, you da he and throws sand in his face. Strong, first strong man. It looks like a 90 pound weakling in that shot. Yeah, he was. Actually, he was 89, but he. He, faked it. he thought it would be uh, better to be 90 pounds. Um, Isaac Bobble, many of you won't know him. He was, uh, I think he was the greatest uh, novelist of the Bolshevik uh, revolutionary period, post-revolutionary Civil War period. He, uh, he was a Jew who rode with the, with the Cossacks. I was assigned to them as a propaganda officer. People died left and right then, even the ones who weren't fighting from disease. He, however, died in a, uh, his most famous book is called Red Cavalry. He died in one of Stalin's uh, concentration camps. He didn't tow the line. Um, one of many millions. Joan Baez, I think she's cute. cute, cute as a button. She said she doesn't want to sing political songs anymore. Wow. Well, it she was did. eating his spinach to her, I guess. Yeah, I guess she did write one wonderful song, uh, Diamonds and Rust, about her uh, relationship with uh, Bobby Dylan. Maybe she'll shape up. What else did she do that well, recently that was sort of annoying? Said she wasn't made, I don't know. I think you have your face in your mouth here. No, well, you don't want my face. These faces are more, Tallulah Bankhead, wow. Oh, yeah. Ethel Lionel and John Barrymore with their mother. They were born in 1878 and, and the early 80s in Philadelphia. Cute theatrical family. I guess I, our parents, I would guess, were probably in the theater too. Nice group photo. Ah, here we got them. The Beatles. John Lennon on the top. Paul McCartney with his brother. They both look like Paul McCartney. This is Paul here. And uh, Ringo. Isn't he a cute boy with his with his mother who's sort of holding on to him like a mother should. And he jazz George Harrison, he looks a little lonely even there. This is one of my faves, Brendan Bayon. He's 19 here, he was, a, uh, it's an arrest photo. I think he was arrested in Liverpool for carrying uh, explosives into England, bad boy. The cause was right, but uh, killing innocent people doesn't help anybody, but, uh, the Liverpool police should learn that, too. The, the police of, uh, was in Liverpool, somewhere in the Midlands. They, they put some IRA people away for uh, 15 years on fake charges. They were released recently. Let me read this little poem that he wrote when he was nine. It's really quite wonderful. Teresa, I am sorry if I got you bashed in school. It was a stupid thing to do and I feel an awful fool. I was really raging when I heard you went to the picks with a all idiots, snotty nose patty fits. I think you were awfully decent, not to give my name, not even to your dad or ma, but shouldered all the blame. 
Oh, what can I do now, love? Love, to restore our happiness. Will I go across to Gill's pub and to your ma confess? Jesus, her ma hung out in the pub. Maybe she worked. Actually, Teresa, I've got just two and six. So would you stop soaking in the parlor and go with me to the flicks? I'll take you to the drummer, to the nine penny cushion seats, and that will leave me with a bob to get you oranges and sweets. To give this its proper ending, I wind up with yours forever, Brendan. Brendan. Even then he was a consummate artist. Here's Ingrid Bergman. It's looking so melancholy and artistic. Leonard Bernstein with his father, 11 years old. Hey. Somewhere in a... Somewhere in the Catskills, I would guess. Oh, no, he was born in Lawrence. Well, he always was a, a Massachusetts kid, wasn't he? Humphrey Bogart. He played a tough kid, but he was the son of one of the richest physicians in New York. Willie Brunt. Willie Brunt just died recently, head of the socialists, social democrats in Germany. Sailor suits. Sailor suits have been popular for ages. We do a book just with kids in sailor suits. Ah, Bertolt Brecht. Which one? Left. And this is his brother, Walter. They, they like to dress uh, uh, boys in what was called uh, girls' clothing. That's a nice, nice study, I believe. I like the way the kids are holding hands. Where's that? Yeah. Here's a very remarkable one. Lenny Bruce. Uh, this is in North Belmore, uh, Long Island. This is him. Notice, he's the only kid who's smiling. Even then he knew. Look at all the other faces. Startle or emptiness. This kid maybe doesn't know quite what to do, but all of the rest are uh, glum. Even then Lenny knew the world was a... Uh, Farce. What? Psychic. Yeah. yeah, or, or Comedia. Uh, Martin Buber, the uh, liberal Jewish philosopher. Uh, William and James Buckley. Let's see, William, this is William at the end. Yeah, the guy who's uh, clever and very clever until you examine his basic premises, which are basically those of reactionary uh, Catholicism. Mind you, I just said reactionary Catholicism. And here's James Buckley, because... Uh, what, on the left? No, this is him. Oh, okay. There and... Uh, Former senator from New York. Yeah. Remember the Berrigans, they're Catholics, too. James Cagney recently revealed as an anti-Semite, and I always liked the guy. Grew up in Yorkville, that's where I grew up. And then it was something... Uh, so, sort of the, one of the few real proletarian types in, uh, in American films, or he, at least he portrayed them. I don't know how proletarian he was. I think he was um, half Irish and half uh, Italian, probably middle class. Halfway through the film. Okay, here's Maria Callas. Isn't she cute? Even Callas. Or Callas. Uh, Nice. Topless. Stable family. Yeah, topless. Johnny Cash. He was born in Arkansas. Now this is... You never guess this guy, right? Typical rich middle class kid. Lots on the forehead. Yeah. And we came down to get the name. The name is... It's Fidel, not middle class, upper class. I mean, he, he, this guy's a lawyer. He's a doctor of law. So don't start up with him. Dick Cavett. 
he was a magician. Uh, Johnny Carson was too as a kid. They all liked it. Charlie Chaplin. Now there was a a kid with a Dickensian upbringing, with a alcoholic mother. His father was an actor who left the family. Here he is, right in the middle. Cute kid. Seven and a half. Born 1889 in London, England. So this is uh, 1896 or seven. This photo was taken. Anton Chekhov. Tony. Yeah. Uh, died early of uh, tuberculosis, and that man was a doctor. Maurice Chevalier, the uh, fascist collaborator. Kind of cute. Uh, what a ham. He was a professional Frenchman, I guess. Uh, can, like a little girl, too. Yeah, can 50 million uh, Frenchmen be wrong? French collaborators be wrong? You like little girls? I don't know anything about that. Shanghai Kai Shek. Oh, Shanghai Kai Shek. This is Shanghai Kai Shek. Wow, look at his mother. Is that mom? Yeah, I wouldn't start up with her. He was a kind of beastly man, too. Winnie Churchill, isn't he cute? See, again, a woman wearing a woman's dress. Uh, his mother was American. Uh, royalty, they were all royalty. His father was Lord Churchill, I think, too. Did he die of syphilis? Anyway, he screwed around a lot. Uh, typical middle, uh, upper class kid barely saw their parents. They ship him away to be trained to be imperialists. Judy Collins, ain't she cute? And he had Noel Coward, that's a wonderful show. Two years old. That's a turn of the century photo. Walter Cronkite, he yeah. sent us this. Another it's sailor. a beautiful photo, another sailor boy. Looks sweet, doesn't he? Looks a little like Lanny, yeah, like cool. Lanny did as a kid. Yeah, yeah. And here Richard Daly, an altar boy, but very suspicious. What are you looking at? <laughs> He's the guy, remember, who said, uh, fuck you, Jew, bas uh, kike bastard, why don't you go back to New York when uh, the Jewish senator from Connecticut protested about uh, uh, all the young people being uh, beaten on the head by the Chicago police in the uh, in 68 convention. Oh, those were the days. What was the senator's name? We've forgotten. What? No, no, this was, no, this was the, this was Shu, because he called him, uh, he said, shut up, you cock bastards. And his lips were just seen on the, on the video, on the TV camera, but uh, they got a few uh, lip readers and <laughs> they deciphered it for everybody. <laughs> he cupped his hand and shouted it out. The whole world was watching, remember? Here's Angela Davis, the commie rat from, uh, California. She looks a little depressed now. She's a professor. And this is unbelievable shot. Sammy Davis in blackface. He was came from a, he performed from the time he was three or less. This is three. This is a performance photo. I guess this folks was showbiz. Okay. Ah, Charles de Gaulle. Uh, this guy. Oh, he was a mean, mean guy. Mean. He looks a little like. He looks a little like Emily Dickinson, actually, except she looks much better. Um, How old is that, Emily? Emily is about seventeen. That's a daguerreotype, I think, and uh, it's her the earliest known photo of her. I don't know if there are many more photos because photography was. Uh, 
pretty rare those days. Uh, 1847, right? Yeah, Amherst. That's where she, uh, her father was a professor there, I believe. Uh, that de Gaulle was a censorious uh, egomaniac. I could tell you stories out of school, but that's for some other show, personally involving me, but we won't go into that now. Marlena, this is a wonderful, beautiful photo. Uh, her father was, uh, I believe, chief of police or a high-ranking uh, police officer in Berlin. And this is a police photographer who took this shot. Beautiful, beautiful picture of a beautiful young girl. Jimmy Durandi, this is a little touched up, but he's cute again. This would have been made in Little Italy. In New York City. Been retouched Before a little. Before the turn of the century. Huh? Yeah. He was born in 1893. Ah, here's an interesting one. Albrecht Dürer. An early photo. Uh, Self-portrait. So he had to sit in front of a uh, mirror and draw this in silver, silver point. I don't know that what the technique is either. This is Bob Dylan, uh, high school yearbook. Uh, Bob later complained to a friend of mine uh, that uh, this was a bad photo of him. And if I, I try to contact him, but you can't get through, he would have given me a better one. He said, well, we'll get that in our next book. Uh, ah, Albert Einstein. This is a, this is kind of charming. Look, he's got his foot. Uh, well, let's see, he's still not wearing socks. And I wonder if the photographer told him to do that. And his sister, they were close through their entire life. Dwight D. Eisenhower, I think it was a latchkey. Was a latchkey kid. Where is he? Let's see. Second from left. Uh, this is him here. Can you get it? You getting him? Yeah, front row. Yeah, he's got a latch key around his neck. Unless it's a skate key. What do you think? Looks almost like a skate key. Let's see. That would have been fourth grade, so he's ten there. That would have been 1900. Did they have roller skates then? I think it's a latch key. There's, that must be the teachers up there. Boy, they look stern. This is Texas, which has produced a lot of strange people. Sergei Eisenstein. Boy, they really were uh, uniforms then. T.S. T.S. Eliot. Kind of cute. Life treated him rough, and he turned into a sourpuss. Ah, the Queen and Prince Philip. This is Prince Philip. That's the Queen. Bill Faulkner. Uh, this is him. That's his brothers, yeah. They say he was anti, well, he was prejudiced against, but nah. A good writer like that couldn't have been big, a bigot, could he? That's been disputed. It's been disputed. Okay. Oh, this is a great photo. There's Henry, who I remember well as uh, in uh, from Grapes of Wrath and other films, and Joan.